Hello, I am Siddesh, a technical account manager here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I am going to show you how to use a logical volume manager for creating a logical volume on a partition created on an Amazon Elastic Block Store volume. Let's get started. Let's create a physical volume from the EBS volume partition. After you sign in to AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 console. Create a new EBS volume and attach it to your instance. In this case, I am creating a 10 GB of new volume. This is the new volume that we have created. Now attach the volume to the instance. It should show up the running instance. Now open the terminal, run lsblk command to see the external volume attached to your instance. Now run the gdisk command to create a partition on the volume. I am running the command for the Zen architecture. For Nitro instances, replace slash dev slash xvdb with slash dev slash nvme. Add the prompt enter n to create a new partition. Accept the default partition number 1, then accept the default first sector and finally accept the default last sector value to use the entire disk. For partition type, enter 8E00 for Linux LVM. To finalize the changes, enter W. Run the lsblk command to confirm that the new partition is created. As you can see, the partition xvdb1 has been created. Please note, by default, the LVM package is not installed on the system. So use the following command for installing LVM. Next, run the pvcreate command to create the physical volume on the new partition. Now, let's run the vgcreate command to create the volume group called example vg. To view the volume group details, run the VGS or VG display command. Next, run the lvcreate to create the logical volume from the volume group. In this case, I am creating a logical volume named LV example of size 9 GB under the volume group example VG. Run the LVS or LV display command to view the logical volume details. Now. Run the mkdir command to create a mount point for the logical volume. Then run the mkfs and mount command to create and mount the file system. Note, in this case, I am creating an xfs file system. Now mount the file system. Run the df-h command to see the mounted file system. Finally, Run the nano or vi command to edit a entry to etcfs tab so that the mount persists after the reboot. Please note, the no fail option tells the system to ignore the errors if the device or mount point isn't present at the boot time. This allows the system to continue to boot even when the specified file system can't be mounted. Save the file. To extend the logical volume later, you can either increase the size of the original EBS volume or add a new EBS volume to the volume group. In this case, I am going to demonstrate how to extend the existing logical volume. Note, when you increase the size of your existing volume, size changes usually takes place within seconds or after the volume enters the optimizing state. When the volume is in optimizing state, the volume performance remains between the source and the target configuration specification. Depending on your volume type, performance change might take a few minutes to a few hours. For more information, see the attached AWS documentation. To increase the size of existing EBS volume, go to your EC2 console and increase the size of the volume. So this is the volume where we created the logical volume. I am going to modify this volume from 10 GB to 20 GB. Go to your console and run lsblk command to confirm the size change. 
you can see the volume size has been increased from 10 GB to 20 GB. To increase the partition size, please install Cloud Utils Grow Part Utility. As you can see, the utility is pre installed on the server. Now, run the Grow Part command to extend the partition. In the following example, slash dev slash xvdb partition is extended. Run the lsblk command to confirm the size of the partition. As you can see in this case, the partition size has been increased to 20 GB. Now run the pv resize command to resize the pv. Now run the pvs command to confirm the changes to the physical volume. As you can see, the physical size has been increased to 20 GB. Run the VGS or VG display command to view the volume group details. As you can see, the VG size has been increased to 20 GB. Run the LV extend command to extend the LV. In this case, I am changing my LV size to 15 GB. Run the LVS or LV display command to view the LV details. As you can see, LV has been resized to 15 GB. Now, run the following command to extend the file system. As you can see, the file system has been resized to 15 GB. So now you know how you create a LVM logical volume on a partition created on Amazon EBS volume. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.